How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to transfer your iPhone photos and videos to your Mac. This is by far the easiest and most efficient way to do it and on top of that it's 100% free and you don't even need to download anything. It's extremely simple. And on top of that, this tutorial is updated to 2022. So without further ado, let's begin. Oh, and by the way, if you want to do this on a Windows PC, it's a different tutorial, but I also have a video right here on the channel. I'll put a card right there in the link in the description so you can go ahead and check how to transfer your iPhone photos and videos to your Windows PC. So you can go ahead and check it out. The first step is actually right here on the iPhone and all you have to do is tap on your settings and then scroll down and look for photos. You can keep scrolling a bit because it's all the way down. As you can see here, photos, so you can tap on your photos and then all the way down once again and right there at the bottom, you'll see transfer to Mac or PC. Make sure it's ticked, it's selected on keep originals. Maybe on yours, it'll be automatic. By default, it is automatic. So go ahead and tap on keep originals. If you don't do that, you will have a hard time. So once again, select keep originals. All right, now all you gotta do is grab your iPhone cable and we will use a cable for this method. Trust me, is the best and easiest way to do it. So grab your iPhone cable. Please make sure to use an authentic Apple Lightning cable. It'll make things so much easier if you use an original authentic cable, all right? Plug one end to the computer, check the compatibility if it's USB-A or USB-C, all right? And the other end, you're gonna plug in to your iPhone, just like I'm doing. Make sure it charges the iPhone. If it's charging, we're good to go. If it asks to trust the computer, you can go ahead and make sure to trust and then type in your passcode, type it in, and then it's trusted, it's ready to go. Now, you can put your iPhone on the table because we don't need to play with it anymore. And now here on the Mac, we're gonna need to open the software we're gonna use to transfer the photos and videos. And as I said, we don't even need to download anything because we're gonna use Image Capture, which is a native Apple software that comes pre-installed in all Macs. So if you have a Mac, you have Image Capture. In order to find it, it's super easy. You can press on your keyboard, Command Space. So Command and the space bar. And then you can type it in, Image Capture, as you guys can see there. So you can click on it and then Image Capture will open up just like so, as you can see here. I'm gonna click under Devices. There's my iPhone right there. So I'm gonna click on that. Then I'm just gonna enlarge the window a little bit. And as you guys can see, all of my photos and videos will start loading. The process is actually instant. And as you can see, all of my photos and videos are here. In order to import those photos and videos to my Mac, it's super easy. All I have to do is click on the file I want. In this case, I'm clicking on this uh, screenshot. As you can see, it's a PNG file. And then if I wanna simply import it, I can just click on download. Of course, I have the option to select multiple files. And if I wanna do it, all I have to do is click on the shift key on the keyboard as if I was selecting a normal file on my Finder app, for example. And then I can keep going down until uh, the photo or video that I want click on it, and then as you guys can see, I have selected all of those. Same story, I can simply click on download and then all of those photos and videos will be transferred to my Mac. I also have the possibility to download all, so I click here and it'll start downloading everything, all of the photos and videos on my iPhone. And of course, before doing it, you can select the location. So right here, import to. So uh, by default, it'll import to the pictures folder, but you can click here I'm gonna choose desktop just to make it easier. And then I'm gonna download all of those files that I have selected, click on download, and then it'll start downloading automatically, super fast, super instant. Um, as you just saw, uh, you can download any of those files. So you can download a normal PNG file, like a screenshot or a photo you downloaded from the web. Uh, it also works on normal photos, of course, that it took on your iPhone using your iPhone camera, which are those height files. Uh, so you can see it has a ton of data, ton of information. And of course, also for videos, 
they will be .mov files. Let me see if I can find one, or in this example, mp4. So same story. And naturally, as you can imagine, they come in full resolution, full quality. If you click on one of those photos, they come here in full quality, perfect resolution, as if uh, you took from the iPhone and transfer via AirDrop, for example. Same quality, you don't lose any quality whatsoever. That's why I love transferring with cable because you don't lose quality and it's super, super fast. That's about it regarding the process itself, but I have one extra piece of information which is extremely important. Maybe when you do this, you may see that you're not seeing here all your photos and videos. For example, as you can see here, I have 1,683 files that image capture could find on my iPhone. And I have much more than that on my iPhone. If I go here and I open up my photos app, you can see that I have over 18,000 photos here on my iPhone. So you may be thinking, why is an image capture finding all of them? It's just finding like 10% of my photos and videos. And that's because I use iCloud Photos. And the thing is, image capture can only find the photos and videos that are in the internal memory of your iPhone, right here in the internal memory. And I just have 1,600 photos on my internal memory. The rest of my photos and videos are in iCloud. And of course, I have a video here on the channel showing you how you can download all of those photos and videos from the cloud as well. I'll put a card right there, which you can go ahead and learn how to download photos and videos from the cloud. And I know this is kind of a bummer. I know this is kind of annoying having to do two different tutorials, having to download partially from the iPhone and partially from iCloud. But unfortunately, that's the way it is. So you can download some of your photos from iPhone directly, which is through this method and the rest of them via iCloud using my other video. But also, please keep in mind that if you don't use iCloud Photos, all your photos will be on your iPhone so you don't need to follow the other tutorial. So if you don't use iCloud Photos, all your photos will be here, you download them straight from your iPhone and you're done. This is only if you do use iCloud Photos like I do, for example. So, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you on my next video as usual. Bye-bye.